Are you looking into Apologia's Bible curriculum? It's called The Word in Motion. It has two volumes, the Old Testament and the New Testament. Well, I'm Christy. My website is pk1kids.com, and I'm about to show you through Apologia's The Word in Motion curriculum to help you decide if this is a great fit for your homeschooling family. Okay, so first things first, there are two volumes to this curriculum. There's the Old Testament and the New Testament. And um, of course, you can start with either testament that you want. The Apologia does recommend, of course, that you start with the Old Testament. So you do have uh, full color textbooks uh, with all the lessons and lesson materials in them. And then you also have a notebooking journal that you get one for uh, each child that you are teaching. So as far as the lesson components go, you've got a textbook. Of course, you uh, should be reading the passage in your own Bible. And there are also video lessons. So uh, you will log on to the Apologia website and uh, queue up your video lesson for the day. After that, they're gonna teach you hand motions. So the hand motions are a big component of this curriculum and probably the number one reason why this is so effective in teaching your kids. You're basically teaching your kids the entire scope and sequence of the Bible, the events in order, and all of the books of the Bible. And you can do this in two years if you take this really seriously and if this becomes a core class in your homeschool flow. Now inside of the textbooks, you're gonna find uh, the actual uh, text lesson for the passage that you're reading in the Bible, as well as discussion questions, sidebar art articles, and character sketches. And so these are really effective in relating the Bible stories to your kids and helping them get that experiential knowledge. So you'll, they'll have that ex those experiences of really getting to know the characters. Another key component is the notebooking journal. Uh, the notebooking journal uh, includes uh, discussion questions where they can write their answers. There's coloring pages in here um, and uh, different materials to help them remember the hand motions and the books of the Bible, along with other supplemental activities to help uh, really understand what they're learning about. All right, so here at pk1kids.com, we are all about making sure that every curriculum that we use is a good fit for your little ones to be included in your homeschool day. So this is a family-oriented Bible curriculum. It is really meant for you to snuggle up with your kids and go through the Bible and help them to not only like just learn some cutesy Bible stories, but to really go deep and understand and know the Bible. So, so I have a list that I always use for my curriculum reviews. And these are the things that are important to me to make sure that I can include my little ones and that it um, that whatever curriculum I'm using really keeps their attention. So let's go through those right now. Number one is absolutely <laughs> one of my number one things is that the materials have to be colorful. I just personally feel like there's no reason not to choose a curriculum that is very colorful to help keep the kids attention. So absolutely the word in motion uses full color pages in both their textbook and their notebooking journal. This, um, also, I want to make sure that my curriculum uses utilizes different types of learning. So I do try to stay away from curriculum that is read a passage, answer a question, and move on. Um, the cool thing about this curriculum is it does have a lot of uh, activities, types of activities you do. So your lesson time may look something like, you know, snuggling up on the couch and reading a Bible passage with your kiddos, maybe having doing a couple discussion questions or uh, reading the lesson text, depending on the threshold that your kids have for sitting down and reading like that. And then you may switch over to a tablet or a TV monitor and watch the video lesson and then everyone's getting up and they're learning the hand motions and reviewing all the hand motions up to the lesson that you're on. And then you may be uh, sitting at the table, maybe your older ones may be sitting at the table and writing out some discussion questions. Um, and then you may be doing an activity, like uh, there was one activity we tried that was uh, building a replica of a temple uh, out of Legos. So that was something that of course, even my three-year-old could jump in and kind of play Legos with his sisters for that. Again, uh, so the next one is kind of similar to that adaptability for multiple ages and levels. So if, you know, can my curriculum be used for my three-year-old and my 12-year-old? And um, this, most curriculums cannot, <laughs> but this actually is very adaptable for your entire family. It is intended for you to do together with your entire family. Um, I would think that I would teach this probably continually throughout their education. Um, I think, you know, obviously a, a 
four-year-old or five-year-old is going to get something completely different out of it than, um, you know, a 12 to 14-year-old kiddo. Um, but I really think that the hand motions are something that uh, will really stick with your kids. My kids learn Bible verses so fast when they add hand motions to them and they can still recite Bible verses that they learned, you know, four years ago, back when they were five years old, because they paired those hand motions with that. So that is actually a really cool component of this curriculum. Uh, next up is ease of teaching. Is it easy to teach? So um, this really do, is uh, very good at being an open and go curriculum. Um, like I said, there are a bunch of different activities within each lesson. Um, and by activities, I mean, you know, the different types of discussion questions and maybe a page that talks about a character in the Bible story, that kind of thing. So um, I, if you take just a few minutes or, or half an hour or so to look through it ahead of time just once and decide what the flow is going to be for your family. Uh, they do have, of course, lesson plans that you can follow, you know, exactly, or you can adjust that to what works for your family, of course, um, and just figure out what your flow is going to be if you're going to, you know, based on how many days of the week you're going to teach. And then once you've got that set, there's really no prep. And the reason there's no prep is because they have these amazing notebooking journals. So um, you could really, they they just work through the journals uh, based on whatever you've chosen to do that day. So definitely high is, uh, scores very high for ease of teaching. Um, and then also hands-on activities. So this is not a crafts-based curriculum by any means, right? Uh, this is really everything that is included in this, the lessons, the types of activities, the the hand motions, everything is designed for your kids to really have a high retention of knowledge and understanding of the Bible and the things that they're learning throughout this lesson. So uh, they don't go overboard on, you know, let's do all these crafts and activities. This is not a Sunday school, um, you know, let's make Noah's Ark kind of a Bible curriculum <laughs> at all. So, um, so, but there are hands-on activities, of course, you know, you're doing the, the hand motions, um, you are cutting out some some things, uh, the story discs to help you remember the stories. But for the most part, it's all kind of contained inside of your notebook. Um, there are a few activities sprinkled about, um, but uh, it definitely has enough to keep your kids interested. As far as the price goes, the price point is very co um, comfortable, as especially if you look at this as a curriculum that you're going to be using um, multiple years. I personally would suggest teaching it multiple years because... Like I said, you know, your kids are going to learn um, different things at different ages. So the textbook is, you only need one textbook for your family. Um, I mean, you could, you could get more if you wanted your kids to do independent reading, but um, it is kind of family style. So it would be simple to just pass the book around. Um, and then I definitely would say, do not skimp on the notebooking journal. So every kid should have a notebooking journal. Okay. Um, so... As far as the price, it is very good. And you can see the current prices. I try not to mention them on the videos because they could change. So you can see current prices if you go to apologia.com and just um, search for word in motion. You'll, that'll come right up. And last but not least is simplicity. So I just don't have space in my life to do really complicated curriculum anymore. I've got four kids. It gets a little bit much. So um, simplicity is really important to me. And even though there are lots of types of readings in here and some different, you know, different components, it's really is simple. It really is broken down to the video lessons that are online, the textbook and the notebooking journal. And then of course your Bible, which should, you know, I'm assuming it's part of your life already if you're, if you're going, um, studying the Bible. So, um, that makes it really simple that you don't have a bunch of extra books to be reading a bunch of different complicated lesson plans. You really just kind of get into the rhythm of the the flow that you have designed for your week and how you want to teach this and then you just kind of plot along and just keep on going so simplicity definitely definitely high up on the list all right uh let's see our three top favorite things about this curriculum was of course the hand motions i asked my kids hey what do you guys like most and of course they all said oh we love the hand motions of course um, it's always a fun part and it really helps the kids understand and remember what they're learning um also the notebooking journals um, my kids love having their own journals uh, to write in, and I love not having to print stuff out ahead of time. So that is a huge point uh, plus for us. And then lastly, the relevance. So this is something that is really um, done well in this curriculum is relating these stories. And like I said, giving the kids that experiential knowledge. So they really connect with the characters in the, in the Bible. 
Um, you know, discussion questions often talk about, you know, what would it be like? Can you imagine being in that situation? And what would you feel? What would you think? And that really helps kids kind of um, relate to the Bible and understand it as true. So uh, that is the Word in Motion, a Bible curriculum. If you want more information, head over to either my website where I'd have a full review on this, and that's on pk1kids.com. And also you can go to apologia.com and search in the Word in Motion. They've got a great page that talks about the entire curriculum, and you can get more information about how it's designed and its main mission and goal.